I told you that on the day I met you, I knew I'd marry you, and well, I guess I was right. <laughs> I've learned so much about you and the woman that you are. It's been a great joy of mine to watch you grow into the woman that stands before me here today. And to have you stand here in front of me today is the biggest blessing I can imagine. You are everything to me, and I feel so blessed to know you are, <laughs> to know you, and I thank God for you every day. I feel so privileged to know you in a way that no one else does. Take over me, over every rushing memory, if only for a moment. As I look at my work, the bright I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to be watch her grow and become the beautiful woman she is today. She kept in my heart on the day she was born and I became more and more aware of her. as the years to pass by, she my little girl, my princess and may ray of her sunlight and no matter what her age, she always be those things to me. We always expected this day to come but we never really quite expected it to come this quick. No matter how long we prepare for the day, I don't think we would ever really, really be ready for it. But the greatest joy that uh, Tanya and I have in this is that Daniel goes to be with one very, very special lady. And uh, we couldn't have asked for a better girl than Daniel to have. Sharon came into our lives uh, around two years ago, so shy and polite. Today, She's still very polite, but not so shy. In fact, she's a cheeky little thing. So, to my darling sweetheart, I have waited for this day for a very long time. And I'm so glad that it's finally here. This is no other, there is no other woman that I would want to be waiting at the altar for. You said to me once that you loved me. Your love may be difficult and it may be late, but it is definitely worth the wait. I'm so glad that wait is so, ne is so nearly over. I love you so much, Sharon. You make my whole life so much better. I can't wait to call you Mrs. De Silva. P.S. You don't have to wear this now. I just couldn't wait to give it to you. I love it. I always wanted one as well because I kept telling them. I want to wear like a pearl necklace and you feel a little bit extra. <laughs> I want you to know that I will always love you and I will always honour you as my wife. I will put you first before my own desires and I will trust God to lead us where he wants throughout our lives. I will always make sure that you feel safe and that you can always call me your home. Because of you, I now know that God has always been with me and he will always be with me. You will always hold that place in my heart for leading me to God. Along with the promises I've made today, I also promise you this. I always promise to laugh with you, to be silly with you, to always fall for your twigs, <laughs> to give you lots of cuddles. I promise to always cook you spag bowl before game day. <laughs> even though I can't always promise it'll be al dente. <laughs> Daniel, I promise I'll always be your best friend. And no matter what we face in life, I promise I will never leave your side. I will always stand by you through every season, support you, comfort you, and push you to become the man God created you to be. I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
over the past month, there have been many, there have been a few occasions where we would go through videos and photos uh, of when we were kids. Um, and to be honest, I look back at those photos, every time I have looked back at those photos and even when I think about it now, uh, it's still hard for me to believe that I'm standing here today in front of all of you presenting a speech um, where my sister is getting married, moving out and starting a new chapter in her life with Daniel. I know that you laugh at pretty much anything, which is the best because my jokes are sometimes awful, but you still laugh. I love that your toes wiggle when you are happy and you don't even realise it until I ask, are you happy? I love how much happiness bread and food brings you and especially cocktails. <laughs> and when you see it, your toes start wiggling. <laughs> I know that you find such happiness in the little things and the simple things of life. These are just some things that I hope never change about you because they are so special to me and it's what makes you you and the woman that I fell in love with. So to finish, I humbly ask Daniel, please look after my Nangi, love her selflessly and make it your number one priority to bring her joy. And Nangi, please do the same for my new brother. I just want to thank you for being such an amazing woman and being everything that I ever dreamed of and, and, and more than that, you are so incredible. You make the most wonderful and stunning bride and you really have just taken my breath away, as you always do, even when you be telling me you look bad but I know deep down you know you look good. I could go on forever about how beautiful you are and what an amazing woman you are, so you better get ready to hear it every day. Thank you so much, baby, for everything you've done today to make this day one that we will all never forget. And you really are an amazing woman. I love you. Thank you.